I wanted to make a short video for you going through the 1 5 7 1 chord progressions. So we start on the tonic note. So say we're in C major. We have C, E, G. So we have a major triad. And a major triad is built from a major third and a minor third. A major third is built up of four half steps. One, two, three, four. And then the minor third has three half steps. One, two, three. That's how we make the major triad. To make the minor triad, we simply lower the third. Okay? So now we see that the minor third is on the bottom. One, two, three half steps. And the major third is on the top. One, two, three, four. Okay, so C minor and C major. Now the reason we can discuss both of those tonic triads is because the dominant 7th chord, the 5-7 chord, which is built off the 5th scale degree, G, G dominant 7, is going to have the same quality in both C major and C minor. So the way we build a dominant 7th chord is with a major triad on the bottom and adding a minor 3rd at the top. So we have the interval of a 3rd, another 3rd, and another 3rd, major 3rd, minor 3rd, minor 3rd. Or you can simply see a major triad plus the minor 3rd at the top. And this makes the interval of a seventh. Okay. So now we're going to put that back into the chord progression that we're doing as an exercise. Okay. So we have C major, and then to move as little as possible from this position to a G dominant seventh chord, we're going to lower the tonic note, the lowest note, by half step or scale degree. Goes down by a half step. The middle note will go up by a half step or a scale degree. And the top note just stays the same. Now, when we're in C minor, remember we have to lower the middle third. To make the G dominant seventh chord, we're using the same notes that we just used. Okay? So we go up by a scale degree. So the C goes down to a B, that's the same. And the E flat goes up a scale degree to F. Okay. Of course, G stays the same because it's a G dominant seventh chord. Now, if you're looking at the G dominant seventh chord in the C natural minor key signature, you'll notice that the B flat is raised to a B. And that's because the G dominant 7th chord is always a major triad plus the minor 7th, right? And the reason we can leave out the 5th, the D, right? We can leave out the 5th because we need the G, which shows us which chord it is, we need a third, which shows us the quality of the chord, major or minor. And we need the seventh, because that makes it dominant. And the fifth doesn't show us any of these, okay?